What do you need? Uh, some stimmy packs, please! Sure thing. Here you go. It does the same thing as a regular stim pack, only it's more HP. So, this is the underground Repcon facility. There was a facility underground the Repcon facility. Yes! <laughs> she didn't see it coming. Oh, what are they fighting? Uh, wow, there's a lot of noises. Okay, you know what? All right, guys, break it up. Break it up. I'm gonna dispense some tear gas. 40 Ooh. millimeter tear gas? That wasn't tear gas. That was a live grenade. Yeah. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Damn it, that's gonna stink. Yeah, it will. Can you hold still for a second? Just stop for just a second. No, come back. Come back. Come back, please. I think you're very pretty. <laughs> okay. Oh, she fiends. came back! Oh, no, this is a gross dude. <laughs> Get out of here, gross dude. I wanted to talk to the lady. Shatter, right the cat piece. No! She doesn't hey. want to talk to you. Come on back. Damn. How's it going? Hey there, lady. How are you doing today? Feeling pretty good, huh? <laughs> You're a wily one. <laughs> you like the sight of your own blood? Just how I like them. So you, uh... Come here often? Seen the Superman movie? Here, have some love pellets. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, boys. Do you mind if I cut in? Oh no, you made me shoot the lady! You made me shoot the lady! I don't think she's gonna forgive me for that one. No, she won't! Now I must kill her! God, it's just like my senior prom. <laughs> oh, I'm playing hard to get, huh? <laughs> Ow! There's so many fiends in here! Wow. They're not very smart, though. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he said that exactly like my grandpa did. I can't- I can't arc this anymore. I have to actually move up. Ah! <laughs> oh, Joshua, that was you! Don't, Don't sneak, sneak up, up on, on me like that! Jinx, you owe me a coat! Ah! Mercury, hang on. D don't blow her face off, Mercury. I'm gonna talk. Didn't tell Joshua not Joshua! to. Joshua! <laughs> Bad Joshua! Sick! Zach, you're not gonna find a girlfriend among these fiends. Uh. They seem predisposed to shoot you on sight. But no, I'm so nice. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm taking this one back. Oh, God. <laughs> this one's mine. I'd probably look a lot sexier if I still had my head, but you were so aggressive, what can I say? What can I say? You were a beast. I had a child, but I guess that child's never going to be born now thanks to you. Wow, you took that up to all. I was about to say this is real messed up, and then you took it even farther. Door um, to inconspicuous room. I don't think there's anybody in here. This room's pretty inconspicuous. I'm sure. Oh, it's an organ harvester! Kind of. You're here. You're the one who did this, aren't you? The one who turned Mercury into this. He didn't ask for this. Where were the other drugs going? Yes, I did. Me and John had an agreement. He did not object, and he was involving himself into things which he shouldn't have. What, trying to save people's lives? Saving people's lives. You think some flimsy invention is gonna do that? Maybe. He had only tested it on himself, and I presume you. No, he was not meant to make them. There are plenty of other fiends out there you could have taken. People that deserve to be mutilated. And you think I haven't tried on fiends and raiders and other abominations of the wastes? No, it didn't work. So I needed someone born of pure birth, without being exposed to radiation. But Mercury was no vault dweller. Unlike his science colleagues, he was the next best thing. Enclave. Uh, he was an Enclave soldier. No. Oh. And because he wasn't exposed to wasteland radiation, he was the only one who survived. Ah, uh, so it'll work on him. But does it work on the Raiders? Got it. I think we're caught up to speed. He deserved it. You cannot deny that. You stand there, all proud and noble, defending a victim. But explain that to all those who are experimented on and tortured by him. So I propose to you, either kill me, no guy, not the villain, or take revenge on all those who died because of him. 
Now we actually have a difficult choice to make here. Are we going to join Mysterious Man and attack Robot? Or Mysterious Man? We're going to attack Mysterious Man. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you what. Because Mysterious Man's ugly. (laughs) Always kill ugly people. I tried to make you see reason. Oh well. I guess it must be done. What? What must be done? This? (laughs) Mercury's special specs! Um, am I wearing any glasses? Yes, you are. (laughs) You see them? No. Ah! (laughs) What the hell? I can feel them on my nose, but I can't see them! I can't see what the problem is! Mike, help! Stop making puns and get these glasses off! (laughs) I killed the man and I have your glasses. Thank you. I don't know how to repay you. Please. If you ever want to hear about my past, feel free to talk to me about it. (laughs) Also, keep the glasses. They... would look good on you. (laughs) They also probably don't fit you anymore. (laughs) Well, apparently you were in the Enclave. Tell me about that, why don't you? (laughs) Well, I was born into the Enclave. My father was just a grunt, and my mother was the daughter of my father's commanding officer. There were many... uncomfortable family dinners, I can tell you. My father overreacted to everything I did, and he didn't even let me have fun while we stayed in the base. It was pretty boring half the time, so I started getting into science. It was pretty fun just finding bits and bobs lying around in the base and just trying to join them together. I don't know, I was a kid. Eventually, after being in the base for about 20 years, I was issued my first science experimental task by order of the colonel but for that i had to um test the effects of the forced evolutionary virus on a wastelander at the time it didn't really bother me so i injected was fine and so i carried out the experiment and that was that needless to say but the man i did it to died and it didn't even shake me i kept Following the colonel's orders and continuing with the experiment. Good. I never thought anything about Good. it. Just another patriot doing his duty for his country. <laughs> but then one day, I went to visit my father while he was at work, and what I saw truly shocked me. Tell us. There were piles of corpses of men. No. And feet. I then ran away in the middle of the night and went to California, where I met Pete, and then. We met the rest of my science team. I never told them about my past. I just said I was born in the Mojave. Sorry. For boring you. Yes! But I'd rather just tell you everything straight away. Let's get going. Yes, let's. I know you're not breathing, but when you take a breath in between sentences, make it in between sentences and not in the middle of sentences. Yeah, you don't want to... Pause in the middle of sentences like that. It's really annoying to the listener. We read on one of those terminals about somebody named Susie. What happened to Susie? Susie? Oh, she just left the bunker one day without saying a word. However, I did find a note saying that she's going to an NCR bunker near Camp <laughs> Guardian. <laughs> Why'd you ask? I don't know. You want to see if we can go find her? Yes. I wanted to look for her, but John didn't let me leave the lab. Let's go. And then John left the lab. Kind of a hypocrite, huh? You didn't finish the story right. earlier. When I was in elementary school, Miss Frizzle came to our school, and we were all in the gymnasium, and she posed a question. Does anybody here know which planet is the furthest from the sun right now? And I raised my hand in a split second and yelled, It's Neptune! And the guy next to me goes, You idiot. The furthest planet is Pluto. Yeah, he was right. The furthest planet is Pluto. And she said, You're correct. It is Neptune. Because Pluto's orbit is elliptical and it was technically closer than Neptune at that moment. Well, I feel dumb now. (laughs) Yeah, you should. Welcome to Camp Guardian, elevation really high. Population, 121-ish. 12, 12-ish? Oh, sorry, (laughs) 12-ish. Not good with numbers. We've already established. No, I, well, uh, yeah. (laughs) Well, let's go to Camp Guardian, huh? There's a man out here who keeps going around covering every inch of the Mojave and the DC Capital Wasteland. Lice cigars. 
Okay. Camp Guardian log page. Let's read it. Camp Guardian daily log. Sergeant Banner reporting. Day 7. We're making good headway clearing up the paths with only 12 of us. I'm uh, pretty amazed we've moved this much rock in such a short time. I sent a runner to Bravo to request a radio from McCarran. I mean, there isn't much point in having an Overwatch camp here if it takes us at least an hour to sprint to Bravo to report a Legion assault, so I don't really know why they didn't give us a radio in the first place. I found a Deathclaw baby, and I named it Mr. Cuddles. Uh, shortly after naming it Mr. Cuddles, it burrowed into my rib cage and ate my lungs, which is why I talk like this. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm going to go tuck Mr. Cuddles into bed. Oh, there's a thing down here that says Mr. Cuddles. I just... Lo oh, it's because I saw the name of the teddy bear earlier. That was Mr. Cuddles. <laughs> That's why I did that. Yes, the NCR were stationed up here at Camp Guardian. Have you never visited them? I've never visited them. Uh, page three. This place is a mess. Why is his voice different now? Because well, the death claw hasn't clawed out my lungs yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Most of the old hiking trails are buried landslides, and the rest is so dusted you can't tell which direction you're supposed to go. I don't know what the hell the survey team was thinking when they said this was a strategically sound location. At least we were issued plenty of rations. The river has plenty of fresh water, but we gotta mic down, or we gotta. I, I tried to say hike down, but I put the M. <laughs> Let's hope tomorrow brings some headway clearing this place up. So I guess they were clearing the area to make it a base. How do I get up there? Ah! <laughs> By blowing yourself up, apparently. <laughs> Your neighbors have to hate us. I know they said they can't hear us, but I don't believe them. <laughs> well, there's a rat. That one's friendly. Oh. Bye, Jerry. Cover Santa. Jerry's escape. Make sure he gets out of here with life. Go, 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 Mr. President. We'll protect you. <laughs> Here I am, rock you like a hurricane. Yes, we've done this joke a million times. Here I am, rock you. It's <laughs> dead already. <laughs> this sure is a winding path. Ah, yes, another note. Page eighteen. Was this before or after the death claw? Oh, quite far after. We finally got the radio up from the carrot. I set it up on the peaks. Does anyone on Overwatch do anything? You can quickly radio in if the leech makes a move. Mr. Cuddles ripped out my other lung. <laughs> I'd like to know what genius back at command decided to send a squad to this location but didn't think to give us a radio so we could actually call an attack. Probably another politician's son. Also, send me some more lungs, please. I only have three more lungs left, and I kind of need them. That guy was lucky he was born with a birth defect that gave him several lungs. He's very lucky. Anybody else would have been screwed in that situation. Here I... Here I am! Rock you like a- <laughs> Here I am! Rock- You couldn't pick up the song where you left off? You have to restart it every time you find a new scorpion? Yeah. Why do you think we never get through it? <laughs> he, he's got more lungs than something. Now he's got 13 lungs. Oh, you got 13 lungs? What's the process? Ghost Game Cross Game Entry Drive Matter Day 10! So I think should have got this and they done a thorough job! Ah, uh, scenic overlook. So beautiful. Wow. Look at those poorly rendered angles. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be completing a quest here at Camp Guardian. What are you doing? My magical compass. It says that it's this way. Oh, well, that's never wrong. So sure, let's follow Zach. An oh. underground barracks bunker. Why is it on the wrong side of the river? Maybe they've been digging under the Legion camp, and they're going to blow it up from below. Yeah, that's what they're doing. It's mining. Yeah. Yep, that's probably it. They're turning themselves into ghouls to resist radiation. Why, that's the best idea I've ever heard. If you're, if you're sick with advanced radiation poisoning, you can't get radiation poisoning. Beautiful. Sergeant Rogers. I've just been dispatched to this... Crap hole with my elite team of retard. <laughs> Serves me right for trying to bang the lieutenant's daughter, I guess, but oh well. Something isn't right about this place, but I guess it's alright. Kinda cozy, in that makes you feel sick looking at it kinda way. Anyway, we were sent here by brass to monitor Legion movements. But that is BS, because we can't see shit. You're underground, how would you see anything? I don't think Command thought this through. 
Private Peters just did the most brain-numbing stupid thing today. He thought it would be a bright idea to start a good old campfire on a scout mission. <laughs> God damn it, he's been getting on my tits since his last great idea to bring some irradiated creature into the bunker and look after it. I mean, come on. But it's all right. We killed it now. We shouldn't need to worry about it. <laughs> as long as it wasn't radioactive and biting people, it will be fine, sure. Got this surprise visitor today. Said her name was Susie, and she was sent by Brass to check on how we were doing. Bit odd for Brass to come check on us cannon fodder, but all right. Said that she was a lieutenant, but I am skeptical to say the least. Anyway, she said that she's going to check on the next station near Prim. Can't remember the name of it, but she said something about it being a bunker too. She said she was a lieutenant, but I saw she had two gold-plated eagles on her lapel. I don't think she knows rank structure very well. (laughs) Damn it, Peters. I told him to stop bringing in animals. One of them bit me and another one is starting to stink out the bunker. My Geiger counter is having a fit. So I told everyone to take us some rad X and rat away. Corporal Birch is really sick, so I'm trying to contact Brass to ask for a transfer, but no response. I guess a soldier must do his duty for his country, but when your country's as shitty as ours is, who really cares? <laughs> and then they all got bitten by the radioactive rat and turned into zombies. I'm not going to make it. Peters is passed out again. Too late to leave. Lock the door. Preventing us to leave and hurt anyone else. Tell my pa I'm sorry for everything I did on the ranch. Tell my brother that he can have my old terminal. And tell my ma that I love her deeply. And I hope that her and pa can see eye to eye in the future. Because they don't like each other. On account of that one time that pa had an affair. With my sister. With a horse. Oh, Oh, Mr. Horse. Why can't we be together? (laughs) I just don't know how to quit you. Do you, you think you can love me the same way I love my wife? <laughs> we just get more and more just depraved every episode. I'll, well, we can't sleep in there. It's irradiated. There actually is a camp at Camp Guardian. Yeah, that seems like a nice cave. Yeah, it's not that bad. We might want to clear it out before we take a nap here. This cave is kind of deep. Let's be a little cautious here. Fishman! Oh! Um, hello? Who are you? Damn leg. Oh, thank God. I didn't think I'd ever see another human face down here. You must be the backup I've been calling for. Where are the rest of your men? Uh, this is it, man. You were calling for backup? We didn't hear about that. Shit. Do you have any damn idea what lives in these caves? No! We need to get out of- We need to go now! Why are you whispering? Are you, are you okay? I managed to kill that thing, but not before it mangled my leg all up. No way I'm walking out of here like this. I've been keeping quiet and hoping they don't realize one of their buddies is missing. We need to get out of here before they come back. <laughs> yeah, I got a dull needle and twine in one of my pockets. Thanks a lot, Doc. I think I should be able to walk out of here now. What was a dull needle I don't and want twine? I'm running into a pack of those freaks alone, though. Could you escort me out of here? That's a nice gun you got there. No, it's not a great gun. Look at how many holes it doesn't have. It's probably so heavy. Oh, you and putting holes in things. <laughs> All right, you're free to leave. The way up is clear, I guess. Great. I'll start heading back to California now. I'm not about to let myself get killed by future NCR incompetence. I don't think the NCR is going to accept this abandonment of a mission. Yeah, you said you would help clear out the caves, Halford. I know, but now that I can see the way out, I'm not so sure. I'd rather not join my dead buddies anytime soon. I'm going to start heading back to California now. Hopefully you don't get court-martialed for abandoning your post. Well, he's an MP. Who's going to arrest him? Oh, damn it! (laughs) If you find my friends, please return their dog tags to the NCR. People need to know what happened here. But what happened here? They won't listen. Do what you can to make them listen. The dead need to be avenged. He says not avenging the death. Running away like a coward. Oh, we said the way up was clear, Halford! That's not up, that's down! Remember cars? No, I don't. Private Halford, you're going the wrong way! I want to see him get eaten by fishmen. There's probably more death this way! Yeah, get eaten by fishmen! Yeah, fishmen! Oh. (laughs) Halford did pretty good. Yeah, fishmen! Get him! Okay, I guess we're going to cover Private Halford's escape. He's doing it! He's doing it! Oh, he's kicking butt! He's at the 20, the 30, <laughs> the 40. He's running it all the way back down towards his end of the field. 
<laughs> Come on. Come on, Private Halford. You need to steal my... Oh. oh no. Halford died. <laughs> oh, poor Halford. What's Halford's Well, let's take his dog tag back. The dead gotta be avenged. <laughs> I found it possible to create a sort of makeshift weapon using all the dog tags I've been collecting over the past month. One of these days, the NCR is going to pay for their continual mismanagement and idiotic bravado. On the back side of the page is a schematic drawing of a dog tag fist weapon. He's going to make a fist weapon out of dog tags? It's just literally a doodle that's a really crudely drawn stick hand with round circles sticking out of it that just say dog tags and tag is spelled with a Z. <laughs> And then it just has an arrow pointing that says, punchy punch this way. What the- oh! oh no, someone's come here to avenge somebody else! Probably! I assume this isn't random murder, but it could be because we are fish monsters after all. FISHMAN! Hey, you're gonna need a stimmy pack for that one. You're gonna need a stimmy pack for that. You no, know, why didn't we just sleep in this tent? Because it's a, it's a sty. Look at it. It's like waste. Oh, we just throw everything out here into this field and just make a big old mess and litter all over the place. Field? And it'll be fine. I'm sleeping here. You guys can sleep wherever the hell you want. Who would these come from? The people you sent up to the top of that mountain? Oh. Forgot I did that. <laughs> yeah. Did they find anything? No, they didn't find anything. They got killed by lake lurks. Oh, whatever. You should probably notify their families. I, I don't like I don't like bringing bad news. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll just pretend it didn't happen. I do have their dog tags. I figured... Oh, those are government property. You gotta give those back. Well, you can have them. I don't want them. Well, no, no, I can't take them. You can't give me the dog tags. No, I can't take those. Why not? Aren't you part of the government? Uh, no, I'm not authorized to take those dog tags, but you have to give them back. To the government? Yeah. Which is what you are. So not me. So yes, you. No, look, okay, here. I'll give you this stack of forms. They have to be filled out in triplicate. Oh, this sounds fun. Saying where you got them from, uh, what the person's name was... Uh, why they gave you the dog tags. Uh, do you have a rubber stamp I could use so I could just hit these all with the- Oh, no. God, no. Who do I turn this form into? Good question. Let me know if you find that out. <laughs>